Hello everybody, welcome back. This is yet another how to use um, video for Silent War 2.0 with IGN from, excuse me, Compass Games. This is version, module version 1.2. And um, as I get feedback from players and play testers, and um, I will evolve this module and it is so intricate that I uh, definitely have to do um, video how-to's on it and show you guys where everything's at and uh, the, the bottom line is right click everything and then um, and once you start playing it it should become intuitive um, there but there are a lot of menus in here a lot of hidden menus in here that only take point at certain when when certain criteria is met and I hope I caught them all. Anyway, we're going to start from the beginning and try to walk through this step by step and give you guys an overview on this. And um, as always, I'll answer questions if you guys email me. Um, and uh, just bearing in mind, it awful intricate uh, uh, module, a lot of moving parts, uh, r more so with IGN being added in. And um, I'm still coming off a lot, of, a lot of life events, so. Um, it's been a chore, a lot of hours, uh, and um, my head's a little swimming, so I may forget some things, and I apologize if I do. Anyway, um, I've added some fluff, and that's all it is, is for the, if you play co-op, co uh, so you can tell who's who with the Pacific Command and Southwest Pacific Command, each of you sign in on a different one, um, really has no effect on the gameplay, so... Um, it's just there for identification purposes. And um, we're going to go ahead and start. And I'll just start on first off the main screen. Yes, it takes a little while because the more and more coding and and uh, properties you put into it, the slower it gets. Because it's got to recognize all that stuff. Anyway, main screen. Uh, buttons on the top. And I'll go through them left to right as we progress. Um, start with the main screen. I This is one of the biggest things up here that I added. Um, was the ships and tonnage will be um, tallied for you as you um, put um, select sunk and that works for all the um, generic ships and the named ships uh, the generic ships will return to their uh, proper deck and be reused again and named ships will wind up in the sunk uh, screen which we'll touch base on later and that'll all take place there these are movable and there's really no need to move them and you still have the ability to um, use everything singularly down here I did go through and make a zone up for each one of these um, um, locations so that uh, if you choose to move these by hand it will go from one to two to three to four and etc um, if, if you do increase it by using the automation it will not report um, I somewhere along the line when I get some more time I will make it report that but for right now um, uh, it's just one more thing I haven't haven't had time or the brain to do and it really doesn't take much to do it's just gonna be a matter of time um, so anyway off of that on to the next war period just select you can uh, if you right click left click on it either way you're going to come up with this to select the war period just select whatever war period you're in same with the torpedo level once you've got your torpedo level established you can either just increase it and decrease it um, the um, turn counters um, I have automated so that they all work just through the week right here. So um, if you click anywhere on this it, and it'll beginning of the campaign you're going to want to set it up. Set your year so you're going to use the last digit of the year 1943. Uh, so we're going to go with 43, uh, then we're going to set up the month. Let's say we're in December, so I can um, show you how this works when you advance the week. And I'm going to set up the week to week four, so I can show you the automation, so you have an idea what's going on. So when we get on week four and we move to the next week, 
to week one. It's going to automatically advance your month. And if it's in December, it's going to automatically advance your year. So um, let's go ahead and do that next turn. And as you see, it takes us to January of 44 then. Um, I don't have that implemented into a lot of things, but the automation's there. So somewhere along the line, I may be able to do it. Uh, like I said, it's a matter of time, and I've got a lot of other things going on. And um, It's, uh, if as I get to it, maybe more will happen, maybe it won't. Um, anyway, down the bottom here, I made an, I added an extra ultra counter. So you now have the ability for three. Um, you, one of the things creating these modules, you got to have a good working knowledge of the rules. And um, at this point, I don't. I lean heavily on uh, a couple of the play testers, and then uh, Tim Phelps also jumped in and helped me with a lot of things, clarifying rules for me and uh, bringing things to my attention, which I appreciate because I don't want to half-ass my module. So... <laughs> Um, anyway, special mission zone here, um, typhoons, um, actually I call these the weather counters. You can set typhoon 1, 2, or tropical storm, you have four of them. Um, uh, I'm going to go off of the main map for right now, and we're just going to start working our way through the um, buttons, and that'll bring me back to the main map and some automation later, so I can kind of keep track of things. Retire, as always, just changes sides, so if you sign in under the wrong one, you can always sign back out and sign in something else. Counters, um, don't recommend using any of these. Um, you really shouldn't need them. Um, I have a couple of AIJNs in here, but these are the counters that are used to... Um, um, replace upgraded counters through the game. Um, so you really should not need to use anything in this button. Well, but it's there in case. Uh, die roll black and white, and it'll signify up here what it is. It'll also show you the result in the window. or not the window, the button. Prep for operations. I'm going to get to that in one second as I start going, drawing out submarines. Uh, submarines panel, um, I have all the U.S. submarines listed by, uh, the ones that are war start are listed by class. Uh, the ones that are um, reinforcement, they're just listed by date, and uh, the classes are all stacked together. So if you look at 224, we have the S1s, Ts, everything in there, just expand that. You can drag the whole stack out to the main map if you want to to set them up from there or you can set them up individually or you can draw them individually uh, there's probably other ways to do this but that's how I did it um, and for for setup it worked the best um, enemy submarines you'll need to go through and choose as you run into them go through and choose the ones that are active and draw them over to the random enemy I uh, draw your random enemy out of there, and then when you're done, just put everything back in its proper location. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the enemy uh, or the allies. Um, they're all just put in here in their own little little slot. Um, like I said, a lot of moving parts in this module, so I'm concentrating more on the U.S. campaign, and uh, this could be handled differently later maybe down the line should they get time but for now if you want to use the british you'll have to separate them out on your, on your own the same with the uh, dutch um i'm going to draw out uh let me grab out three of the uh at start and uh put them down here on these counters and that'll be a good time to explain the um uh, counters there's a lot of moving parts here. Transit and patrol, that'll disappear as you're on the proper side. Sunk, which you don't want to hit until you're actually sunk, but um, that'll move you up here to the sunk location. I'm going to undo that because I don't want them sunk, and I don't have anything reporting or anything on that. Um, rotate, you can move it. You shouldn't ever have to, but the, the commands are there in case. 
combat to send you to combat display we'll do that later tenders you're going to have no menu there until certain criteria is met and i'll get into that in a little bit kill log i gave you 20 slots uh to put in uh sunk ships if you so desire to track what each individual ship does um skipper this is a big one if you're going to get a skipper uh, the first thing you're going to want to do and we're going to have to jump ahead to do this is we are going to go to gotta remember where i put it now that's a scary thought um <laughs> yeah there is an awful lot to this i think i have it in the cups um yes if you draw a skipper they're set in here you just draw your random skipper and put them down here somewhere and then say the dolphin got that skipper so you're going to go in here to skippers you're going to assign a skipper then you're going to go in and you are going to not jump around like i just did um you put the name or select the name koi and then plus one and I did this for the automation to work, and I'm going to show you that automation in a little bit. Just select plus one, plus two. Yes, there's a tiled mark in there, or a, I forget what you call that mark, a uh, superscript or subscript. Hey, I'm not an English major. Barely can speak English. <laughs> it's my first language. Give me a break. Come on. Anyway, that sets up that. The other thing is, is you will only be, that will, when you select the ship, you see that tucks that piece behind it, but when you unselect the ship, it will show up to the top. Um, I'm going to now go through. Oh, the other thing while I've got that set up on commanders is if he gets um, killed or something, just hit unavailable and he'll come down here, and then you know to you to clear him out, and you won't be able to draw him again. Um, next. Uh, spotted if he's spotted you can hit spotted that brings the counter same thing and that's the same with all the counters for the um, submarines is when you select it they'll go to the back so you can see the whole submarine um, damage you now have the ability to have one damage counter or two damaged counters um thanks tim for letting me know that because that's one of the rules i just missed um i'm still new to the game i'm spending more time developing the module that i'm playing and that's going to change soon so anyway you now have two counters for that and return to base voluntary or involuntarily say we're going to voluntarily return him to base next um wolf pack i have wolf pack one two three and i'm going to put them on another you know what we can put it on here say you form wolf pack with him you're gonna put wolf pack one on them uh, so they were all part of wolf pack one and um now you have the wolf pack one on there um again that one will not go to the rear so you'll see that all the time um now when you're done you're going to move them down to the done on each done location on each uh, area uh, make sure you put them inside the done or the, the automation is not going to work which will take me back to the prep for operations in your SOP you have down uh, let's see where is it here prep for operations 11.0 right down here when you hit that slide all you're going to have to do to move everything to the operating area is hit prep for operations and that's going to move every ship on the board up to their up to their operating operating uh, area. Um, nice little addition to make not addition. I did that from the beginning to make things a little easier to play the game. Um, I'm going to say let's do let's do um, ports right now. Um, say we're going to use, we're in Dutch Harbor with this guy, and we want to go into Dutch Harbor. We're going to move into Dutch Harbor. The first thing we're going to do, as you'll see, now the Dutch Harbor and Broombox uh, commands show up on the log. Um, uh, say we've got damage on him, because we got the damage marker on there. We're going to send him to the repair hold. That is going to clear all the counters off, except for the skipper. 
including the wolf pack because you got to reform up when you get ready for C in my understanding of the rules um, then you'll decide it'll show the next commands available to you in the harbor repair one two or three so you're going to roll for that say we've got two going to work your way through the damage and uh, go to the broom box after that from the broom box you can either be ready for C or pier side I'm gonna say pier side ready for C once you're ready for C you can send it to Dutch Harbor and you're back in business um, that works for all of the um, all of the uh... <laughs> come on Greg the uh, ports or harbors including uh, I think it was Fremantle that I didn't have in there or Brisbane one of them but uh, thanks Chris for bringing that up they all are in there now including Sir Yaba Sir Yaba is going to show up if you go to say Sir Yaba uh, broom box that's on the tender sheet and I'm only going to show you that right now we'll go to the pier side ready for C back to Sir Yaba and I'll come back to um, tenders later um, and that'll put you back down here. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, that's also could be a tender area. So I'm going to go ahead and go over tenders right now while we're here. Um, actually, I'd like to, but I lost my tender. Tenders right down there. Here it is. Duh. Um, say we have uh, tenders. Let's go ahead. And you're going to put all your tenders war start into this little box right down here, um, which will be where you pull your random tenders from. Uh, draw out your random tenders. Tenders. Say we've got one in um, Suryaba. Dolphin wants to visit the tender. We're going to go down to the tenders, and I. It's with all the variables, it was too much for me to try to um, hide these except for if they're in a location eligible. So you'll just have to choose the tender that you want to send him to. Go to the tender screen. You can now see he's on the Fulton in the broom box. Say he's ready for C. Again, this is all going to be under tender, so you're going to make him ready for C. And then from the ready C, you're going to go to return to operations, and you got to make sure you use the one from the tenders menu. And then he'll come back down here to where the um, the um, counter is, and you just put him back in his spot. That's tenders. I didn't work a whole lot with the um, Dutch tenders, um, so they just kind of fit in accordingly. Um, that gets bases, tenders. Let's go ahead and go to targets. Before you start any game, before you do anything, the first thing you're wanna, gonna want to do is set your war period. Now, say we're in war period one. We'll set that. That's automatically going to set the mixes for your target cups. Um, and uh, the game recommends you do this every two months. A reset your target cups I've made that easy for you uh, you can do it more often than that if you want if you want to reset your your cups which are over here just hit reset target cups come back over here to the uh, and, and set the same say we're still in war period one you just want new draw hit war period one again it's going to reset your cups um, you don't need to worry about these cups once you're in here uh, once you've set them, because they'll all be automatic. Uh, the next thing you want to do when you start a game, um, you're going to set your war period, and you're going to set your IJN. Okay, very important. Uh, so we're going to come up here and set either 1932 or 1941, and that's going to set up all your draw piles for the combat display. Now we'll go to the combat display. Say we've got the Narwhal going to combat so we're going to go ahead and we're going to send him to the combat display it's going to drop your current operating area piece down here so you remember where he came from you shouldn't need to it's going to put him right here every time because I had to have a spot to dock him you will choose your own location once um, you've got your target selected 
So say we're going to go in and draw a 3222. Um, you're going to come in and you're just going to click draw targets. I work off the bottom, some guys work off the top. Um, and it's going to randomly draw from all the proper cups. Now, hopefully we've got a named ship in here somewhere. So I'm going to put him there and I'm going to, this is not the rules. I'm just going to go ahead and start uncovering some of these so I can go through the combat things for you. First off, in combat now, you'll have an attack posture menu. That's so you can put either aggressive or cautious on. If you're not coming in on either um, stance, then you're just not even going to pull that out. But that's there to remind you of the, uh, the attack stance you put on. Um, I'm going to start uh, unmasking these. We have a, a couple of merchants there. Of course, we're not good. Well, that'll have an IJ in. Uh, once you get one up eligible, it'll have the IJ in on there. Draw it. It'll draw from the proper stack. If um, you get one that is dated where it's not yet eligible, just return that to the deck using this return to deck down here and draw another one. Oh, undo that. Draw IGN. Um, and of course, that's another one that's ineligible. Let's say we're going to go ahead and draw. <laughs> Getting a few of them. That's going to happen. Um, it's just, just eh, 42 to 43 should be all right. Anyway, um, you're, there's a lot of variables. I didn't want to get into it. Yes, it is possible, I think, to make a beginning and an ending date and do all that, but I am no coder. I'm a mechanic. Um, that's the best I can do for, at, at this point, so that's what we're going to stick with. Gonna un Good, to hear you. To hear you brings me to named ships. Um, named ships are supposed to be, if you draw a named ship, You've got to draw that ship specifically, or sometimes it gives you the option to draw such and such and such and such. So um, I had to make multiple, two counters for each of these named ships, because um, you're supposed to still be able to encounter them when you draw a regular CV, say, battleship. The battleship, if I draw a battleship, um, I can still get the Yamato and stuff, as per the rules. but when I draw the Yamato counter, I should only be able to draw the Yamato. So, um, I, therefore, I had to make two counters. Which brings me to drawing the I, IGN for the Hear You. Should we sync the Hear You? Um, I'm, I've got up here, first off, it's going to show you that it's sunk to Hear You for 19 tons. It's going to tell you it's sunk to hear you for 19 times. It's also going to give you a, draw, a, a text alert to remove the counter from the IJN CV deck. Go into the IGN deck, go over to the CV deck, and remove the hear you. Just select it, pull it out, drop it anywhere, and then make inactive. Very important to make it inactive. It'll send it down here out of the way. And you shouldn't be able to use it again unless you mess up and hit one of these buttons. If you hit a button by mistake, undo. Vassal's best friend. Anyway, so that explains that. If you sync a, let's see, that was cup C. So let me empty out cup C. <sighs> yeah, you guys got to deal with the long road here because um, I've just got to show you how I have this set up. And the only way to do it is to actually do it. So... Oh boy. Um, say I sink this merchant man right here. And you see we have one in 19 tons already. We're going to sink this merchant man. It goes uh, 2 and 21. Who? 2 tons. That was a 1 tonner though, I think. No, it was 2 tonner. Huh. Okay. Um. Don't mind me. Um, so yeah, I thought I put the wrong tag on that. that uh, anyway, it'll return him to the deck up here, as you see. So he's not gone for forever. He's just right back into the mix. But you do get a tally for him. Um, and that is it. As you see, it just 
mentions up here m2 ton 1.0 sunk uh two tons sunk um and when you're done combat hit clean up that'll remove all the markers on the board except for your submarine and then you're going to return him to the operating area and he's going to come back down here to where your uh, current operating area is delete that current operating area put them one done and you're back in business um, uh, that's oh combat display TDCs TDCs you just draw them uh, the same way you draw your your targets and you turn them over the same way you turn over your targets and then when you're done uh, if you're not going to attack again you hit clean up. If you are going to attack again, just select them all and return them to the deck and redraw. Um, next is the SOP. Um, I have the SOP available with a little arrows, so if you save the game, you'll remember where you're at. There's not a whole lot to this page, just a reminder. Uh, tenders, we already went over the tenders page. Um, add to add the later date ships in as you activate as you hit the dates uh, notes I made it so you can put some notes in here in case you like to keep notes for yourself I'm not really good at doing that so I tend to forget that but uh, there you have it um, sunk as you see we sunk to hear you earlier he would go over here to that sunk location I have him gone all to one area I did not set it up to um, spread out all the counters you'll have to do that on your own because there can be so many of them um that i just didn't uh didn't want to apply myself right now like i said i spent a ton of time on this i wish it was a full-time job and i got paid for it but i don't i'm retired anyway what do i got to do um u.s sunk ships will go here uh japanese or enemy sunk subs will go here and of course all the sunk ships will go over here uh charts you will not have them this is my extension and my extension only um i have them in there make it easy for me um but i will not give the game away as you see my extension you will not see that so they will not be in there and you can always take a screenshot of the uh current it'll take a screenshot of this whole current main map area so if you want to do that you just hit that and put in i like to keep a um silent war i like to keep a screens page and i would put it in there and call it uh such and such png make sure it's got dot png on the back of it and then your um zoom controls i default at 75 100 percent right there I like to make things big. I know it takes up space, but it also showcases the artists and Compass Games uh, artwork. And, the, and I try to try to uh, um, translate that into Vassal as much as possible, uh, just because they do a great job on all this stuff, and and they deserve the recognition. So there you have it. I think that explains everything. Um, the current rules i have a link to in the help menu as will be a link to this video um the other of course ijn rules and scenario book will not be included in your menu because you do not have the charts and rules extension i made <laughs> and i will not give that out so there you have it that is Silent War 2.0 with IGN, and this is my 1.2 module version. And I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the module. I hope you enjoy the game. I hope it makes things a little better for you and a little easier for you. And uh, thanks for joining me. You all have a good day or a good night.